All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Vanderlei Silva. All right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off, he has the ability to go in there and damage his opponent. He feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye. Left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that Muay Thai punch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hips back, he will shift you. Right. Kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit, and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. guy, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the ex-murderer, Vanderlei Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path. Oh! range with that one. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike. Jump. Oh! Oh, oh! 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 Try to establish that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Able to check the high kick. Liddell gets hit with a kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
Silva gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Oh, big left hand there. And there comes the separation now. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh, he might be out. Collar tie there. Silva's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! That's a big hook. That one was going to end the fight. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Pretty good right hand. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Chuck Liddell. Good punch land. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Silva. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Liddell gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! He's a oh! He's a Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Iceman. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. And Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag off bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big... Ready, fight. Ready. Good. That strike blocked by Silva. Lands the right hand. Great punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh! Nice straight punch. Wow! Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. A little single collar tie there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Liddell's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. He got him. Flush right hand is true. Back and forth we go. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Oh, 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 oh! oh. That was his strong to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, straight right. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, he got real good, too. Silva's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Connects with a right. Liver kick, take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. The Iceman gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Nice strike. Liddell gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. 
but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. to the body, that one blocked. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that's a nice strike. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, a single collar tie here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he's hurt. He's gone. He got him. The way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by Celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.